What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a pretty exciting video to share with you guys and we're going to be talking about this wireless monitoring rig setup that I have pieced together. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this since I last mentioned it in you know one of my previous videos. So today we're going to be going over how I build this out, all of the pieces that I use, and why I think you should be using something like this on your productions. Sorry for the interruption guys, but real quick, I just wanna let you know that I'll be filming a Q&A video sometime later this week. So if you have any questions at all pertaining to photo or video, I know a ton of you guys actually have Zcam questions. So if you have any questions, make sure to head over to my Instagram and comment on this photo, drop your question in those comments, and I will try to answer everybody's questions in the Q&A video. And while you're there on my Instagram, if you're not already, Sauce your boy to follow, you know, give me some love. Anyway guys, sorry for the interruption. Just wanted to let you all know that. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. So before we get into the rig breakdown and how I actually piece this rig together, I wanna give you guys a couple of reasons on why I think you should be using something like this on your productions. And the first reason is to create more value for your clients. So when you show up on set and you get all ready to shoot and you pull out this rig right here it's really really nice to be able to pass this off to your client or to the director whoever and say hey this setup right here is connected directly to my camera it is a live view of exactly what my camera is seeing if you have any questions comments or if you want me to get any specific types of shots make sure to let me know this is yours for the day. By doing that and allowing the client to see exactly what you're seeing in real time, it's just going to make them feel so much more comfortable and it's going to add a lot of trust into your relationship, especially if they're a new client. Like if this is the first time you're shooting for a client and you hand them a wireless monitor to see exactly what the camera is seeing, it's gonna add so much trust and so much value into your production as a filmmaker and it's just gonna reassure the client that they made the right choice to hire you and not somebody else. So now, as long as you do a good job throughout the day and you get the shots that you need to get and you make everything look good and you light really well and your compositions are all good, by creating that initial trust factor, by giving them the wireless monitor, you are now just building on top of your relationship and relationships are you know, one of the most important pieces of freelancing and working for yourself. You need to build good relationships with your clients so that way they're they trust you to come back and keep hiring you over and over and over. So by giving them this wireless monitor to look at for the day, like I said, as long as you do a good job and your compositions are good and everything looks good, your client is going to be much happier and they're not gonna hound you after the project is over to be like, hey, can I see the footage? Can I see the footage? Can I see the footage? They're not gonna be standing over your shoulder all day and that is huge when you're on set trying to be creative, not having somebody you know, over the back of your shoulder just breathing on your neck all day, really makes a huge difference on set. So getting the client away from you, making them feel comfortable, making you feel comfortable is going to lead to just an overall better experience for everybody, building on relationships, creating trust, getting you more work. So another way to implement this wireless setup into your workflow is to actually use it as a focus pulling monitor. If you use a camera with crappy autofocus or if you use a cinema camera that doesn't have autofocus or if you're using lenses that don't have autofocus and you need to be running around shooting on a gimbal or a glide cam or something where you know you cannot control the focus by just having your hand directly on the lens this system will help you 100,000%. It'll make your life so much easier. You just need somebody else on set with you for the day to actually pull focus for you. So I actually use the PD Movie Wireless Follow Focus setup. And when I use it with this rig, I actually just attach the controller right here to one of these handles. And then I give this entire rig off to my buddy, let's say Devin, for example. I say, Dev, here you go. Here's your rig. Make sure all my stuff's in focus. And just like that, I now have a wireless focus puller making sure that everything is in focus for me and all I have to do is focus on composition, framing, and making sure that everything looks good in camera. Now, before you do that on set for a client though on a paid job, make sure that you actually go out and practice with your friend or whoever you're going to be bringing on set with you for the day because it's actually much harder than you think to use a wireless follow focus. So practice before you go out and charge money to a client 
on set. Another good reason to use a wireless setup like this is for interviews and talking head stuff. A lot of people in the corporate world, if you're shooting interviews for, you know, corporate jobs and whatnot, a lot of people do not like to be on camera and they actually get really, really nervous uh, to sit in front of the camera and actually talk about whatever it is they're talking about. So where this comes into play is you can actually mount this setup directly to a light stand and put it somewhere off frame. Let's say it's like right here. I know that this is in frame, but we'll move this back so it's out of frame, like over here, and you can point it directly at the client so that way there they can see just what they look like on camera. So I know some people like to slouch like this on camera. Some people like to sit back like this on camera. So if the client can actually see exactly what they look like on camera, then it's a huge, huge, huge help. And it just makes them feel more comfortable being in front of the camera. And again, making people feel comfortable just makes the workflow so much easier. It just eases up all the tension on set and allows you personally to work more comfortably as well. And when you're more comfortable, you're more likely to produce better work. Now, if you do decide to do that for an interview setup and you notice that the client keeps looking off camera to, you know, check themselves out while they're talking, then it may be a good idea to just kind of rotate it around. So that way there, they don't keep looking at it, but initially to use it to show them the frame and how they actually look on camera is definitely, definitely useful. So the last setup that I actually use this for most is for YouTube stuff like this. I'm currently shooting on the Sony a6600 and the screen is like, literally this big and where my camera is positioned from me right now is kind of far away. So if I flip the screen up, it's really hard for me to actually see uh, my own frame and what exactly I look like. And if things are blown out in focus, out of focus, exposed properly, whatever. So by having this wireless setup right here next to me, I can just take a peek at the monitor, say, okay, I'm center frame. The lighting looks good. I'm not blown out. Everything is nice. My audio levels are pretty dang good right now. I'm ready to go. And then what I usually do is just mount this somewhere down here and uh, I can just keep peeking back and forth to make sure that everything is going smooth and nothing changes on camera. All right, so now we're going to jump into all the parts that we need to make this rig come to life. And of course, everything will be linked in the description below. So all the pieces that you need for this are down there. Make sure to go down into the description and if you buy through those links, I actually do get a little percentage kicked my way from the sale. So if you do purchase through my links, I really, really appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, everything is linked down below. So let's jump right into what we need to make this come to life. All right, so when I'm shooting on my Z cam, for example, that's a pretty bigger, beefier rig. And if I'm using this wireless system with the Z cam, there's actually two main components that make this entire thing come to life. And the first component is the small HD 702 touch. This monitor is so freaking beautiful. The display is so freaking nice. It's 1500 nits. It's completely bright enough to see in the middle of a bright day. Built like an absolute tank. The aesthetic is really, really pleasing to the eye. And I just really, really love small HDs monitors. I think that they are the best on the market, in my opinion. I think the user interface, uh, the way that you can navigate the menus, turn on and off assist features. It's just so easy and laid out so well. That's why I really love using small HD products. And the reason why I really love the 702 Touch is because it actually has an HDMI loop out. So I don't need to use an HDMI splitter on my rig to add just another piece to make this work. I can just throw two HDMI cables, one going into the monitor and then one coming out of the monitor and attaching to the wireless transmitter, which is the second main component of this rig that you need to make this work. And that is the Hollyland Mars 300 Pro Enhanced. So you don't actually need these exact two components to make this work. As long as you have a monitor with an HDMI loop out, or if you have an HDMI splitter, you can use whatever monitors you like and you don't need to use the Hollyland. You can use another system like the Vaxxis or any other wireless system of your choice. But for me, I just use these two products because I really like them a lot. And I actually do recommend both of these components to make this happen. So now that we have the system in place to actually send the wireless signal to the wireless monitor, we need to build this out and let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so here is a view of all the parts of this rig that we are going to need to make this come to life. And like I said before, links to all of these parts will be in the description down below. The first part that we're going to need is this small rig rod rail kit for, it's actually for a shoulder rig, 
but we're going to use it today to mount all of these pieces of the wireless monitor. So the first thing we're going to do is run this rod through long ways and that is going to be our base of support. Then we're going to take these four inch rods and run them through from front to back and we are going to be able to mount the monitor and the V mount and everything else that we need in between on these rails right here. We gotta leave a little bit of space at the top here so we can mount the monitor on the front of the rig. In order to mount the monitor, we need three of these small rig rail blocks and one of these cold shoe mount adapters that we're gonna put on top of one of the rail blocks. Then we're gonna take that rail block, put it right on front there where we left that extra space. We're also gonna need one of these quarter 20 threaded screw adapters that we are going to put on top of another one of these rail blocks. By doing this, it gives us a mounting point for our wireless transmitter. In this case, we're using the Hollyland Mars 300. So we're gonna slide this on from the other side of those rails. So that way there it sits in between everything that we are mounting on the front and the back of the rig. Once we get the Hollyland screwed on, we're gonna take the last rail block, slip it onto the front side of that Hollyland, and we're gonna make sure that the mounting points are facing down. So that way there we can mount a base plate or something else to the bottom of the rig in case you want to put it on a light stand or a tripod. The V-mount plate we're using is from Camvate and I really wanted to use a V-mount option to power everything so that there we can just use one battery to power the wireless transmitter and the monitor. I really like this plate from Camvate because it has D-tap out as well as DC out so we can run two dummy batteries all off of one V-mount battery. So the monitor that I'm using here for this rig is the Small HD Focus 7. It's extremely affordable, big seven inch screen, and it's made by Small HD, really can't go wrong. We're gonna slap that Small HD monitor right on top of this small rig cold shoe monitor mount, and we're gonna slip it right into the front side of the rig here. And then we're just gonna take our HDMI cable, loop it around, run it so it's neatly going throughout the rig, and we're gonna plug it right into the Hollyland. Next, we need two dummy batteries, both going to NPF, but one of them is a DC and one of them is a DTAP. We're gonna take one of those batteries and we're gonna slap it right into the back side of the monitor. And then we're gonna take the second battery and slap it right into the Hollyland. Then we're gonna just plug them right into the side of the V-mount plate. Again, making sure the cables are run nice and neatly around the rig to make sure things are looking nice. Next, we're gonna take those rubber handles and just slap them on there, put them in a position that's comfortable for you. To me, I just like them straight up and down. It's nice and easy to hold on to and adds a good sturdy base of support. And lastly, I'm using this DNO 95 watt hour V-mount battery. These are very affordable batteries. I've been using them for a long time and I highly recommend them. And that is going to pretty much complete the entire rig right there. Everything's running off of that V-mount battery. So it makes life nice and easy for us. And there we have it. The wireless client slash focus pullers monitor rig. So that's gonna wrap up this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found this useful and maybe you know you can take these parts and go build your own rig and manipulate it however you want with the pieces that you know you need but uh, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, please. It is a huge, huge, huge help. It really helps, you know, my channel grow, helps get new eyes on the content. Uh, if you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down button, you know, let me know why you didn't like it. Constructive criticism is much appreciated. And uh, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. You don't have to, but it'd be nice, you know, it'd be nice. And uh, that's pretty much it. So catch you guys in the next one. Peace.